What's a SEER rating? SEER stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, and it's basically a guide for consumers to purchase the best air conditioner or heat pump for their home or business. So how do you measure SEER? Well, it measures air conditioning and heat pump cooling efficiency. And this is calculated by the cooling output for a typical cooling season, divided by the total electric energy input during the same time of year. A SEER rating is a maximum efficiency rating, similar to the miles per gallon for your car, for instance. So what's a good SEER rating? Well, the higher a SEER rating means the greater energy efficiency. The minimum standard SEER is 13 for air conditioners. Most modern air conditioners have a SEER that ranges from 13 to 21. It's important to remember the efficiency of your system can also depend on the size of your house and your current ductwork and other variables. By the decree of the U.S. Department of Energy, all air conditioners sold on or after January 1, 2006 must have a minimum SEER rating of 13, Energy Star appliances must have a rating of 14, and window-mounted appliances ducked out of the law, so therefore they may have a lowly rating of only 9 or 10. Now it's the same with ACs. The higher the SEER, the more energy efficient it is, meaning you'll spend less on your monthly utility bill. But the higher SEER units are also more expensive. Modern air conditioners mostly have a SEER value ranging from 13 or 14 as a minimum to a maximum of 21 or 25. California, for instance, has a minimum SEER requirement of SEER 14. Unfortunately, people often think that a SEER value that's 13 or 14 is low efficiency or like the bottom of the barrel. But that's actually not the case. Older air conditioners were rated at only around 8 or 9 SEER. So in actuality, if you're replacing your unit in your house and you know it's over 10 or 15 years old, you're probably going to already notice a huge energy efficiency increase if you just upgrade to a 13 or 14 SEER unit. Now, in the case of saving energy, a 21 SEER unit will provide cheaper monthly energy bills than a 14 SEER unit, sure. But here's the downside of that. Even with monthly savings, it's unlikely that you're ever going to recoup the higher upfront cost of that unit. Why is that? Well, depending on your climate, most air conditioners last 15 to 20 years. If you're in a warmer climate, like Florida, an average lifespan might be more around 10 years for your AC unit. So depending on the unit you have, with the upfront expense versus the savings you're going to have on your energy bill, it may not save you much in the long run if you're deciding between investing in a 16 SEER or a 21 SEER unit, if the unit's only going to last about a decade. However, money's not the only factor to consider when it comes down to choosing a system. Most of the time, a higher SEER rating also means greater comfort. And why is that? Because a higher SEER unit often has two components that the lower ones do not, and that's a two-stage compressor and a variable speed blower. And these features lead to even cooling and lower humidity levels in your house, giving you more comfortable air to live in. So as you can see, there's a lot of factors with SEER ratings in determining what system is right for you, given your specific circumstances at your home or office. Rather than overpaying or underestimating, Give us a call and we'd be happy to answer any SEER or AC questions that you have. We can also help you get a price estimate to install a new AC in your home. Thanks for watching.